Good morning. I'm going to try to explain how I've got uh, CW Skimmer running here during the CQ Worldwide DX contest. I'm running two radios right now. Up in the upper right left hand corner of the screen you can see the Flex 3000 which is running on a receive only antenna so I can control it separately. Uh, I'm changing the frequency here. But uh, it's using, it's, it's receiving on 15 meters right now. That signal is being fed to CW Skimmer, which decodes a wide range of the band, which you can see along the left-hand side of the screen. That's all fine and good, but how do I, you know, that's a lot to try to sort out all these stations on the band, but it, it really shows the activity on the band. My radio I'm running is a uh, Elecraft K3 using N1MM logger, which is down here. The uh, Telnet window from N1MM logger is picking up skimmer, so I'm actually pulling skimmer in as my spots. So I'm basically using the Flex 3000 to get my spots for the K3. So how does that work? Uh, I'm going to try to go in closer on my log screen here. Excuse me. So, I'm now tuning across the band on the K3. The 9A5D has just popped up on the screen. Uh, the other radio has picked up 9A5D on this frequency and is telling me that's who's here. I'm not hearing anything. I still have to use my brain and listen to the signals to, because this is not 100%. It's right part of the time. So I'm listening. Okay, so once I heard it was 9A5D, I hit the key on the logging program and it called him and sent my call. He answered and I returned. So I still had to listen and find 9A5D, but my biggest problem in uh, logging is getting the calls in right. And this saves a lot of wear and tear on my fingers. and adds to my accuracy. So there I just worked US 3IZ in the Ukraine following the same system. Now it's a DR1A, I think. Yep. No, it isn't. It's DL1A. So I'll correct that. And that's a dupe. So you can't trust it 100%. You do have to listen. And I've actually only made a few mistakes. <laughs> 